this past week was that one week that happens every spring where all of the flowering trees were blooming. It reminded me of a beautiful hymn text entitled Jesus Christ the Apple Tree. This text was written by an English minister and published in 1761 in a book of sacred poetry. Choral musicians are more familiar with Jesus Christ the Apple Tree because there have been a number of beautiful choral settings of this text. But it's not a text that we tend to sing in worship. I would like to introduce you to these beautiful words paired with an old American hymn tune, which is entitled The Watchman's Call. Though the text is from England, it was long thought to be American. Regardless, there is a directness in the text that pairs nicely with the solidity of an American hymn tune, early American in particular. Let's sing it together first, and then we can discuss it. When I first began thinking about the meaning of this text, I got caught up in the metaphor. How is Jesus Christ like an apple tree? Metaphors can be nice sometimes. They liken one thing to something else in a new and unexpected way. I've certainly never thought of Jesus in these terms as an apple tree. The tree of life my soul has seen is the hymn's beginning. We first hear of the tree of life in Genesis. 
It, along with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, features prominently in that story. But in scripture, Jesus is never referred to as the tree of life. So while focusing on this metaphor can be a nice literary exercise, the more important takeaway is not that Jesus is the tree of life, but that Jesus is the tree of life. Jesus is life. Like signposts beside a very long road, all things lead to the Christ, which means the anointed or promised one. From the tree of life in the Genesis garden to the word that became flesh in John's gospel, in whom there is life, and that life was the light of all humankind. Continuing with the ministering Jesus who proclaimed himself to be the way, the truth, and the life. And finally, to the river of the water of life found in the book of Revelation, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. At the beginning and end of all things is Jesus. Revelation goes on to say, on either side of the river is the tree of life, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Martin Luther said that the Bible is the cradle in which Christ is laid. We see Jesus the Christ in scripture forever coming to us, revealing himself along the way, like the trees that bloomed again this week, bringing hope and joy.